Agath will not be far behind you. Neither of us saw any sign of Aelin Shear or Ventrinu. A scout on the ridge above saw the two Arthur mounting for a counterattack. You should hear what he has to say before we move on. If you'd rather not wait, talk with Agath. Time is of the essence. Agath, if he tells you he's ready, then my people are as well. Of course, if you wish to proceed with caution, the scout on the ridge will know what we're up against. Yeah, who's... to see you here. Ready? I am. But there hasn't been any sign of Aelin Shear or Ventrinio. Damn it all, I knew we couldn't trust her. You're right. At least now I don't need to worry about when she's going to betray us. Just how she already has. Right now we just need to get through the House of Vengeance and kill the Kerr. He's the closest thing Vengeance has to a leader anymore. A face so consumed with hatred that he's little more than a beast. If you're going to get into bail, the Kerr has to die. We'll go as far as we can. Whatever is happening in bail needs to be stopped as quickly as possible. Listen, you're more powerful than I ever was. If anyone can stop this, it's you. When you kill the Kerr, you go into Bale and stop Gadflow. If we get separated, I'll keep fighting to keep an escape route open for you. Now go! Stay on guard.
Onwards! We're nearly there.
My deepest apologies for not being able to join the battle. Ventrinia was something of a hassle. He attacked me. It was only a matter of time before his greed got the better of him. The closer we got to Bale, the more obsessed he became with Tiernok, and with harnessing Tiernok's power, just like Gadblow did. That's why he had to be stopped, and why we need to talk about our mission. Betrayed you? Never! You forgot the mission when you died. We're running out of time. I'll explain as we go. Lead on. I'm right behind you. Fighting at your side, just like the old days before you died. We keep the world from being consumed by greed, by war, and by Tiernok. The ancient beast must stay sealed away at any cost. The world must never realize the terrible power Tiernok offers. <laughs> Gadflow's army arose. We recognized Tiernok's tainted influence. Only a force like her could walk eternal creatures like the Fey. So you came to infiltrate Alabastra, find Tiernok, and seal her away forever. And you used Ventrino to get in, under the guise of being his assistant. <laughs> 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 Stop Tiernok. You had to The try. winter court was still Even as fall and snow as the jester danced and capered. Always, Juggling knives and torches, he sang to his lords and ladies, but none smiled. Not an eyebrow raised as the snivelling jester imitated the king. Not even when he took the crown from his head. Because this was the day that Gadflow murdered the winter court. This was the day the Tuatha were born. And our people became a sacrifice for Tiernok. <laughs> 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 when I found you in Dalentarth, when I saw you had come back to life, I wasn't sure how much you remembered. I couldn't be certain you would keep our secrets. I considered killing you then and there. Nothing personal. You would have done the same to me. But then I saw what you were becoming. I saw the new power you wielded. Yeah. <laughs> 
time you came here, you were destined to die. This time, your destiny is up to you. to finally complete our mission. Let's put an end to Gaglo before his bargain frees Tiamark on the world. This must have been a lot for you to take in at once, but I need you to be clear on who you are and what you need to do. A lot has changed since you were here last. It isn't going to be as easy this time, and last time it killed you. Oh, she's a creature with incredible power. A dragon, but she is no simple lizard in some child's tale. She has a power rivaled only by the gods. Thousands of years ago, the ancient Alpha sealed her in the Amethen between this world and the world of magic. And there she went mad. As her prison weakened over time, she was able to tempt Gadflo into helping her gain enough power to break free. And if she escapes fully, it will mean the end of all mortal life. Tiernark's revenge for tens of thousands of years of imprisonment. That's why people like you and I have dedicated our lives to keeping Tiernark's secret from the world. We were supposed to keep Tiernark hidden from the world. Anyone who learned too much had to die. But when Gadflo found her, you were the one who volunteered to kill him and seal Tiernark away once more even though you were fated to fail. It took every trick we had to get you here the first time, and you still died. I don't know if you planned to be resurrected, but knowing you, I wouldn't be surprised. If you only think you're ready, then you're not the same cocky bastard that I used to work with. Just make sure you do the job right this time. You can't count on having a third life, and it'd be a shame to lose the man you've become. What are you, a moonstruck whelp? If you're going to waste time staring longingly at me, I'll gladly save us both the trouble and pry our eyes out now. To save our world, Gadflo has to die and Tiernark has to be sealed away. You're the only one who can do it, and you'll probably need to be able to see. Now get in there, and try not to get yourself killed again. Lead on. I'm right behind you. You don't understand, do you? The power of Tiernok. Yes! Return to your grave! Tiernok, lend me your power! <laughs> If Gadflo isn't here, then he must be hiding further underground, someplace closer to the source of the Prismere. Definitely. The war's not over yet. Whatever bargain Gadflo made with Tiernok, it's about to pay off. When that happens, the world will not be spared her wrath. She's imprisoned deep in the Amethyn, but Gadflo's war has weakened her bonds. There's no time to spare. If she gets free, our world is lost. This way. 
Tiernok is held captive deep in the Amethyn, but her prison is weakening by the moment. I feel you here again, full of life, full of fate. What have you brought? I can feel Tiernok's eyes upon us. <laughs> You've used your power well. So much potential. Let's have a taste, shall we? <laughs> she just tore out a part of the fates you've stolen and turned it against you. Perhaps it is not inaccurate to think of her as a god. I have been imprisoned here since before your kind emerged from the dark. But now, my freedom draws near! Let Gad flow free, Ternok. Listen, you're the only one who has the power to stop her. When you first came to me, death was your only fate, but I was And you were so eager to play your role. by that. I gave you freedom, and now you have returned to grant me mine. Only you have the power to reseal Tiernok inside the Amethyn. I must keep the secret of her existence from the world. Once Tiernok is pushed back into her prison, these caverns must be sealed. But that leaves one question. Can I trust you to keep Tiernok's secret? That is excellent. After all that you've done, it would have been a shame for you to die a second time. If you do escape, I will be watching you. And know this, anyone who learns the truth of what happens here, I will silence myself. Go, stop Tiernok from fully entering this world. But remember, my blades will always be at your back. Nothing in the world is fated to stop Tiernok. That's why you're the only one who has a chance. I'm just here to make sure you take it. This way. There's no turning back now. yourself and seal the fate of your world. It's time to choose your fate. Amethyn lies beyond. This is where the dragon will breach the veil. Come forward, mortals. Behold the birth of Tiernok. Attend your final hour. My fate does not lie beyond those doors. 
You alone may change what is to come. Go! Welcome back, mortal. How does it feel, I wonder, to return to this place? Does the pain of your death still linger? <laughs> Can you feel it echo through the air? <sighs> and now, in this place, you shall witness the birth of Tiernach, the destruction of the Alpha, and the dawn of the endless winter. Comes. Tiernach the powerful, Tiernach the merciful, who are left a tear now. You know? Uh, have, have I done well, lady? Are you pleased? Is it... Did I, you have I, served I, your purpose. But I... I have so much more to... Be, ah!
How could we have known that this would be a new beginning? I wonder now if we should have foreseen this outcome, but who knew then what fate would bring? I would have liked to have delivered this message in person, to see you one final time. That, however, would have been complicated. The order to which I belong had other plans. Were you ever to leave the Crystalline Fortress? When it comes to you, though, it seems no fate is written in stone. It was only through my assurances that your silence could be counted upon, that either one of us still draws breath. I trust you will not make of me a liar. Were stories of what we have seen to begin to surface in the inns and taverns of Amalur, I would be asked to seek you out. And as we both know, the next time you die, there will be no return. But let us not speak of this. Your life is your own. Go now, and see what fate may bring you, or what fate you may bring. Perhaps one day in happier times, you and I will meet again. Until that day, I remain. Yours, Aelin Shear.